so the Picts are kind of the greatest threat around here. They're pretty large. They have quite a few vassal troops. So picking a fight, eh, pun intended, with the Picts might not be the easiest thing. However, we are not helpless. We can soften them up, and that's what we're going to do. Because we're going to go pick a fight with them. Eventually, first we're going to pick a fight with them. Because no one's going to help them. So we are getting them into the fold. And these guys, the neighbors, can immediately come and help. Actually, I think this one will be done entirely by these guys. While our troops will be raised. But they have a different mission. Different task. So... Let's have a quick look here. On our allies. E. E. Who fields way too few troops. He shall go and hunt the enemy down. And the other guy can go siege. And so can he. Oh well. <laughs> so much for that. Ah, we're at peace so I can't do what I was aiming to do. Just go raiding a little bit. That's okay. We'll just have our allies win this war for us. Because we cannot be bothered to actually participate ourselves. And it's funny because no one really cares about it. Ooh. Bastard of my dynasty. Let's see if we can't do something interesting with her. Well, let's have her... Ah, they're closer. So let's have them marry. Just to make sure there's good genetic stock in our lineage. So this is the lazy version of fighting and winning wars. The very lazy version. Oop. There we go, the Fraticelli revolt has become a thing. Let's see who would respond to this. So again, let's just them deal with it. Because why not? Okay, so these are sieging, sieging or hunting, so all of these are going to go hunt those rebels for us. While our troops do exactly nothing. Well, they, they're not doing nothing, technically. They're standing around, which is a form of something. Just not the, th the form of something that, you know, helps win wars. Good, we have a peace offer down here, so he would like to be our vassal now. These pieces don't... Who do they belong to? Oh, this might still update. Donatus Berchand has contacted me asking if I have any interest in learning more about roses. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go and learn more about botany. As you can see. Okay, so... We should do penance. I think that's fair. Let's do penance for the order. Once this war is over. If we've done many terrible things. In the eyes of God. Alright. Um, oh yes. So we escorted through the gardens of the monastery. And I immediately spot the work. They're beautiful. And I... Can do this again, and this time I get the trait Gardener, which gives me plus two stewardship and plus one learning. Or we could tell him about how cool he is. But we're gonna go for Gardener. And let's offer some peace here. The revolt has been crushed. Now, let's see. Do penance. 
Let's do this. Today, my seclusion begins. I have selected a simple chamber in the fortress where I will spend most of my time during the coming month. Within those bare walls, I shall do my prayers, read the Bible, and to contemplate my life and actions. God shall be my companion. Now, I'd like to point out... To just remember where this woman came from. She was a beast on the battlefield. A warrior to be feared. Someone not to be trifled with. Someone who will... Ruin a day. And now, here we are. Just about ten years later. Seeking penance on our knees. From God. He probably doesn't like us very much. Well, okay. He doesn't want to be our vassal. What can we do with the others here? Could force this vassalization. And Burgundy would help. Well, well, well. Burgundy would certainly be a thing. <laughs> huh. That doesn't really work. There are quite a few out there that I can force into vassalization. What about you, my dear? Well, I think... Britain shall be painted green eventually. I think the game is paused. It is indeed. My court chaplain Bishop Maynard tells me that his efforts at increasing religious fervor among the people have met with great success. A small army of zealots... Okay, we need to find an infidel to attack. So we can put those men to good use. Let's see. Let's see where the infidels are. There are some infidels. There are no longer infidels. There are some infidels. Oh, look at this. They're all infidels. This guy's an infidel. You can't go in a holy war for him. Let's see. Aunt still in a non aggression pact. Who might we go fight who is infidelic? In infidelicious. Honestly. Just any war might be fine. Uh, they're a little bit infidelic. But we can't fight them. Because they're all below this guy. What are you? You're Catholic. Proper Catholic. Ah, uh, shame. Well, there is no infidels to fight, so I fear we must put down those zealots. Shame. So let's stand them down. Lest they turn their righteous fury against us. cannot make sense of this passage of the Bible. The words are archaic and their meaning is deeply hidden by copious layers of symbolism. It would greatly benefit my spiritual development if I discovered the text's essence on my own. Although at this point perhaps I would be better off asking my court chaplain. Well, I will figure this out on my own or we could ask. Well... We have a 60% chance of... Figuring it out ourselves. So I, I think we should trust in our own ability to figure this out. Still need a suitable woman for him. Oh, there's a young, strong girl in Ireland. There's a club foot too, but... Strong is more interesting than a club foot. Let's, let's have him marry a proper Irish girl. She's a little bit below our rank, but at this point, that doesn't matter all that much anymore.
So these we can't upgrade because technology hasn't spread here yet. A true follower of the rule of St. Augustine does not give up easily. I kept at it, reading the passage again and again, compared it to with other holy texts and mulled over the wording for hours at end. It went slowly, but every now and then I uncovered a new piece of the puzzle and suddenly I saw it. Such elegant, such depth. I will carry this revelation with me until the day I die. So we become a Eurydate, um, which gives us more learning, less combat skill, but the church likes us for it. And we get a lot of piety. So we might go down as quite pious. And we gain the trade chase, which I believe we don't have yet, but that's that's not too bad. Even less fertility, not that we need it. My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Augustine. Well, 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 well. Praise be God. There we go. Accumulating all the knowledge and everything at the end. My court physician would like some money. Sure, let's have him have it. Right. For a true follower of the rule of St. Augustine, the importance of saying prayers and studying the Bible, at least my priest says so. However, while doing penance for days on end, I struggle to stay focused. Sometimes I feel that I'm just sitting here doing nothing. If I close my eyes for just a moment. Well, okay. If we took a nap. We have a chance of dealing with the vice by practicing it moderately without getting noticed. Or, not really. Or we could have a chance of overcoming the vice, 40%, or 60% of failing terribly to overcome the vice. So I think we're going to go press our luck. See what happens. Well, that didn't work out. I do not remember falling asleep, but suddenly I realized I was sprawled across the floor. Apparently I'd crashed on top of my copy of the Bible because once I struggled to my feet, I noticed its pages were torn and that had ink smeared across my face. No matter how hard I tried, I could not wash it off. Surely my servants are gossiping about my failure and soon everyone will know. We have become slothful, which isn't a great skill to have. Not at all. Why is our husband so bloody? He has a concussion from something. All right. Our vassal would like to give us some decent amount of money, but we would owe him a favor, which we're not gonna. Because favors can be spent to sway the court in this direction or the other, or other council. I have failed our converses too. Oh, things are not going well right now. So initiating a vote would possibly be overruled by our council if we had people that we owe favors to. The late nights, the way my husband, theory has stopped touching me or even looking at me and now the whispers of him that the gullible fool Ebinlan Nick Eochaid. I can't take it anymore. Confront Flythrier. Um We should focus on more important matters, but we might become depressed, which also isn't great. It really messes with your with your health. Let's just confront the harlot. She denies it! She denies it! Let's, let's pay some to have them both watched. Apparently it doesn't cost us anything to pay someone to do this, but... It doesn't matter. Alright. There's nothing there. Time for us to go to war. Oh, we can't? Ah, yes. Well... We don't really have a claim to rule over her. We have a claim to rule over him? Nope. Why did we have a claim to rule over him, though? That's not really Ireland, is it? I think we need to start a fight with the Picts. Especially since they're kind of weak right now. What's going on there? Let's do it. 
Um, anything interesting? Let's claim for our vassal, because why not? And we shall call in everyone. Oh god. People are not looking forward to this fight. But that's fine. We still got our English brothers. Some of which, at least. Ah, yeah, we called him in, I think. Should have, at least. Let's converge here. Why are you not coming? Did he refuse our call to war? Shouldn't have. Right, okay. Let's have them attached to us. Let's have everyone attached to us for now. There we go. Now we can call him. And we can rank up in our order, as we shall. There we go. I was wondering what you were doing, my friend. They're attached to us as well. Because we'd like to have a large army to deal with this. Picts. People of the Picts. Do you have anything good? Well, this guy should be leading the light infantry. And this guy should be leading this flank. So he's besieging something here because we have some holdings. Um, okay, we receive a letter. Uh, something about advice on poetry. Well, we're missing some comforting aspect aspects of the faith. And... Oh, pilgrimage is what we're supposed to go on this time. Right. So they are gearing up. Let's see if we can't find some better... Some better... Oh, some light foot. Some more light foot. That, that's not the worst to have. Well... I'm not going to go too deeply into this. Well, okay. We're going to spend some money on him. And press him to do more. There's this little army here. Moving to reinforce him. Let's kill it before it can. Ooh. We were given a saint's finger to put into our treasury. And to safeguard. It is... Is it that one or is it another one? There we go. Saint's finger bone. Interesting. Good. Is there more allies coming? He doesn't look like he's going to come anywhere. So we shall... Actually... Let's go here. And here. Ah, oh, no, he can cross over. Let's sit here and hope for him to try and cross after he sieges everything that we hold. Because maybe he crosses against us. No, he doesn't. If he had, we would have had a um, straight crossing. All right, let's see if he attacks us in the mountains. Yeah, it looks like he might be. Very good. Bishop Maynard has published the results from his medical investigation. And he gains one learning. Very good. Now, real quick. The guy that we sent for should have come to us as a commander. The right foot leader. There we go. Let's set our armies with light foot leaders. 
as best we can. And right, okay, it's not ideal, but they're attacking into hills, and we are fairly even and equal. This might work out still. And as you can see, it is a pretty fair fight. None of the glory of when our queen herself fought on the battlefield. But, well enough. Close enough. We have lost the south and they have lost triple that. We will give chase. There's no good reason for them to be allowed to regroup. Since our first engagement was very favorable for us, we're going to keep chase. Especially since he's now locked up on this island. So if he wants to get off this island, he has to fight us over straight. And I very much doubt he's going to do that, unless we bait him into it. So how do we bait him? We're going to set everyone to do this, while our own, ar while our own army is going to move here. So we reduce the amount of troops they are facing. A Jewish man has appeared on our court, okay. He's a good steward. So he might get cocky and feel like, yeah, okay, I can, I can take these. I can take these. More warriors for our war. Very good. That's actually really good. Because crossing a strait ourselves is going to be quite the issue. We're going to move some more troops off of this. And see if he's going to take the bait. Maybe I took a few too many. But it'll all turn out well for us in the end, I'm sure. Well, yeah. Well, we lose the great, great, great humble. But she feels she should be proud of herself. I don't disagree, as such. But I'd rather she stay humble. Good, okay. So now he still might decide to move south. As he is. We're going to wait until he's locked in. And then we're going to attack up. Or rather... Actually, when is he going to arrive? 10th of February. When would we arrive? 9th of February. So, we definitely need to move immediately. So we arrive a day before. So we get the defensive bonuses. Ah, okay. And he stopped. Yeah. He doesn't want to do that, nor would I want to do. Kinsman, let's see if there's something good for you to keep in the family. We're looking all for um, traits that can be inherited. But there's nothing really good, so we don't care. Let him be what he's gonna be. And this kid is gonna be this. Because why not? Right, okay. What could we do now? Could move away a little bit further. But everything is hills here. Attacking him across the strait is going to be suicide. So we're just going to keep sieging. And we'd rather fight him in the hills. Then across the strait and in the hills. So let's move up here. And attack him straight on. This might not end too well for us. But it's looking good. Uh, 
one of our flanks. No, none of our flanks break. Very good. Worthwhile. Now he flees southish, and we shall follow southish. Because again, we'd rather not allow them to regroup, recoup their losses. Most certainly not what we wouldn't want. We want to beat him into submission. And again, his troops flee somewhere. We shall keep and give chase. Let's hope he doesn't flee up to the island again. Doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, he's fleeing here. And down he goes again. <laughs> down we follow. This is going to be a little bit longer than usual. But I don't think you will mind. Let's have this marriage. And once we've beaten this stack... We can pretty much rest assured that we are done with the Picts. Uh, we should probably go and besiege the thing that we're fighting for to get all the good points there. Uh, but also, let's have two armies or so. Maybe a few more. Do some other siege work since the enemy has been thoroughly beaten now. So they might as well go somewhere else, do something sensible. Especially since they do beat these few pockets of enemy troops that are ri risen. And they oh no! Ah! The claim we were fighting war was invalidated. Well, that's one way to resolve this conflict, for now. There's a new king in a pick land. Who is married to my niece. Doesn't want a non-aggression pact with us. Honestly, I think the next one we fight is going to be to extort tribute of him. I'm not fighting again for such a small thing and have it be taken from me in the last second. What's our truce doing with this guy? Oh, it's gone. Come on, let's make this really, really long. And just because we're angry now, we're going to take him. <laughs> and again, who are you? Who cares? And again, we're going to have our vassals, or rather our friends from around the world do all the work for us. We are not going to lift a finger. I'll have this play out for us. Let's tell them to hunt them. They're going to destroy the troops, and then they're going to go siege. First they group up somewhere, and then they fight. For a long while now, you have not felt the presence of the Lord in your thoughts. Wow, this is getting depressing. And we have gotten depressed, indeed. Alright, the Holy Father is most concerned about the loyalties of bishops in our realm. He would like to replace one of our bishops, my court chaplain, who very much likes us. So let's spend some piety and ignore this demand. Let's wait for our allies to win this war for us, and then that'll be it for it. 
I just really would like to end this on a on a positive note. Ah, fine. Okay, we need to be a little bit more granular who does what. So we'll have some sieging here. Let's have him siege here and everyone else does something. Alright, you would like us... I will send some of our own samples because we are now a gardener instead of going to look at his roses. The sun was born in our line. Oh well. It'll all work out. Don't really need to take care of the male descendants of a line. They generally manage. Without any intervention. Well, we were happy to help, apparently. We did well. And what I'm trying to do here doesn't work out, so we're going to take our troops and go kill the enemy ourselves and go siege ourselves. Honestly, what are allies even good for? Oh, well, let's send our troops down again because they are stuck to sieging now. Let's have them siege as well, and the 1,300, they may go and fight elsewhere. Let's check our other holdings. And make sure everything that can be a level 2 is a level 2. Don't need to go higher than that. I don't think that gives a bonus. We can't wait too long to convert to feudal because other feudal lords will have quite the advantage over us. We have contracted a fever. Let's see what our physician can do about it. Well, he gave me a foot bath, which was freezing and it didn't help, so... Well done, man. Thank you. And we have gained the trade diarrhea. Things are not looking us for, up for us. Let's see what he can do about diarrhea. Again with a foot bath, man. But this time, it helped. Interesting. So, foot bath, cold ones, at least, are good when you have diarrhea. Let's keep this in mind. And a cough. God, what are we developing here? Nothing good, I sell. Nothing good. Alright, we've won our war. So let us enforce our demands. And Ireland looks that much more green. Well, this was a good way to end this today, right now.